you understand that with the committee substitute, none of the provisions of the House bill will be voted on? In the Senate. Well, it, it takes them both. I understand that, but will it go to conference committee? But it would have to come outside the bounds, and the, the chair, it would have to come outside the bounds in order for that to happen, and the chair has made public commitments. I wasn't here this morning because I was doing some of it when we first brought up, but but again, because I want to make sure people aren't testifying out of out of fear right. that something that's not going to happen right. is going to happen. The chair publicly committed to me um, early on in the session in committee and then on the Senate floor as well that the provisions that relate to sanctuary city or what uh, we generally refer to as sanctuary right. city, right. the HB 12 would not be part of anything related to SB 9. And it's my understanding that what he laid out here today, and, and I wouldn't hear so I'll just ask the question, is that he doesn't intend for the provisions of HB 12 to become part of SB 9. And when he agreed to have it all substituted out today, that pretty well sent a message about what was going to happen with HB 12. Is, is that right, Mr. Right. Chairman? The, uh, Senator Watson, um, the, uh, my commitment uh, that I made at the beginning of the session is, is still good. And uh, what I would say is that I've, I've viewed these as separate issues all along. I wanted to deal with them separately, uh, but unfortunately, we haven't had any progress on Senate Bill 9 in the House, and so we don't have any uh, choice except to substitute that language into this bill. And I don't intend uh, to bring the Sanctuary City Bill. Now, if they move Senate Bill 9 over there, then they and they want to take this back and go to the Sanctuary City Bill. We bring it back to committee. We can reconsider it, but we're not going to do it on the Senate floor. The Senate Bill 9. There are two separate issues that need to be dealt with separately. And hear what he's saying. Mm -hmm. If it came back, it would come, have to come back through right. committee where there where we would have public testimony. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. And it would, have, it would require another vote of the committee. So well, I thank you, Chairman. Point, the session is yeah. pretty yeah, well, We've got 12 days left. Well, thank you, Senator Watson, and thank you, Senator Williams. I know you're a good United Methodist, and you're a man of your word, and I trust you. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> you're one of the few people in the audience who seems to recognize <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mr. Bergal.